E3 2015 was a phenomenal experience. We are now going to talk about the PlayStation side of the experience. Marissa, how yeah. did Sony and the PlayStation, and the PlayStation 4 specifically, do at the show this year? Well, we have to talk about the first game they brought out right out of the gate. Oh my god, The Last Guardian, are you kidding me? I know. Ben is excited to talk about this one for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, ben has his hand up. Oh my god. Would you like to say something about The Last Guard? Oh my god, it's real, <laughs> you guys. It's a real video game. Every year we come to the show and we go, is it going to be The Last Guardian? And I tweet, oh, going to be The Last Guardian? Yeah. And I sound like that because I'm an idiot because right. we never see it. That's how we read your tweets. So. <laughs> I'm Ben Silver and I'm going to be The Last Guardian. But here it is. It was here. I actually saw we don't way to play this video game in front of me. It's real. It's a real thing. I'm very excited. Not only is it a real thing, it's also a really cool thing. It's beautiful. It's, thing. it's easy to forget how great that. That's why we were excited. Yeah. But this big thing and you get to climb it, it's amazing. Oh, tears, Ben Silverman. This is one of those games it just tugs on the heartstrings. You can tell right away just from the trailer and the fact that we get to see this now. We're gonna get to play it soon. Tears! But also, um, not only tears for me, but a little bit of a heartthrob because Nathan Drake <laughs> is coming back. My favorite character in video games ever. Are you guys not excited about Nathan Drake coming back? I'm that so demo excited. looks unreal. That is like one of the most intense action sequences I think we've ever seen in a video. It's like, it's, it's Raiders of the Lost Ark, come to life, amped up, interactive, being dragged along, shooting stuff, jumping from trucks, beating guys up, motorcycles, boom, explosion, guns. You're right, it's, it, it's amped Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is an impossible thing to even envision, but that's what Naughty Dog is delivering. It's like bigger than Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, crap, crap, crap. You know, it really feels like Heartstrings was the name of their show, though, because they had Last Guardian, we all got connected to it, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and the crowd was screaming. The yeah. Sony really came out making a statement that we want to give gamers games that gamers want to play. Yeah. And I don't know if that's necessarily the best route for the future, but I really loved their press conference because they were just giving us beautiful surprise after surprise. For me, again, the biggest thing here is No Man's Sky. Yeah. And I actually got to sit and play that yeah. again this year. And it's still ambitious. It's still hard to wrap your head around. 18 quintillion. Quintillion. Wow. Qu I, I don't know what that is. Jose, can you count to 18 yeah, quintillion? Yeah, start now. He can't count to 18. <laughs> I, we've tried this. He, he gets lost yeah. at about four, and then it's, he gets to seven. Anyway, I, I thought this was an incredibly awesome press conference. Yeah. They really you know, aim for the heart. They hit the heart. It was great. Yeah, and then they also had some big surprises in terms of partnerships, like Call of Duty is now first on Yeah, they've snatched that DLC away from Xbox. Even and that packs first on PS4. That is a smart move. Very smart move, and I know you had a wonderful time visiting the Devolver folks, and they got a beautiful shot out of the PlayStation booth, too. I did, and it's nice to see them. They're kind of off the beaten path indie vibe that yeah. they have, and they make all kinds of very strange games, and I felt like that was kind of my mission over the course of the show, was trying to find the strangest games, games that didn't make me feel like I'd played them before or ever seen them before. And certainly that Devolver moment at the Sony press conference did exactly that. Mother Russia Bleeds, yeah. one of the strangest things I've ever seen in all of my gaming life. Yeah, they, they did some really, really wonderful things there. And obviously Morpheus had a presence here as well. I, I really enjoyed seeing Ratchet & Clank on the PlayStation 4 too. I think it really popped on the screen. I wasn't expecting to be so transfixed by that thing. It was really solid. But I, I think for me, the big thing was Uncharted 4. That was just yeah. nuts. It was just absolutely stunning. So we started with The Last Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Like we ended so with high. Uncharted 4. Yeah. Those are nice bookends to your press conference. Yeah, exactly. Really good. OK, so we got to score this up. How, how was Sony's presence at E3 2015? 1,288,337. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, no, Sony, I mean, come on. When, when they showed off Final Fantasy, it blew my mind. I yeah. tweeted, if Yu Suzuki comes out and plays Shenmue next, I'm going home. Are you kidding? I, I tweeted it. Wow. And then I literally, my next tweet was, what the? Yu Suzuki. Sony knocked it out of the park. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, the bomb person? being dropped in the beginning, it's a 9. I'm giving it a 9. A lot of mic drop moments. What are you giving 9.5. I had tears in my eyes. I never have tears. Tons of surprises, tons of huge stuff. 9 out of 10. Nine out of ten. All Good right, job. hovering around a nine, but we've got more E3 talk. It's Nintendo. You don't want to miss that.